हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईश्वरी तनिक्षा चैनल दिस इज योर ईश्वरी मैम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सुपर ट्रिक्स फॉर नेमिंग कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग ब्रिजिंग लिगेंड्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट ट्रिक सो हियर द फर्स्ट ट्रिक इज देयर इज अ लिगेंड व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू सेम ग्रुप्स ऑन बोथ द साइड्स इफ इट इज कनेक्टेड टू सेम ग्रुप्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स then how to name it so first uh, you will write mu this symbol is called as mu dash then you will write name of the bridging ligand so this is called as bridging ligand then you will write bis bis meaning is two because same type of groups are present how many are there two so therefore you will write bis and then you will write the name of the uh, molecule here a so let us take one example and try to uh, give name of that so first one chromium oh cr nh3 five times and then cl5 so now this is a bridging ligand so we are going to use this trick to na give name of this uh, compound so students first let us see which is the bridging ligand here so oh this is called as bridging ligand so i'll write here bl meaning is this is the bridging ligand so first step what you have to do is find total negative charge on this coordination compound so let us calculate now here so let us calculate here total negative charge so total negative charge is equal to so here oh is hydroxyl group which has minus 1 charge and then ammonia is a neutral ligand so charge on ammonia will be zero and this also is equal to 0 and chloride group so chloride group has minus 1 sign so now what is the total charge here so here phi chlorine so phi chloride group meaning is phi into minus 1 is minus 5 and here minus 1 so minus 5 minus 1 will be minus 6 so total negative charge is equal to minus 6 so total negative charge will be equal to total positive charge in the coordination compound therefore if you get negative charge as minus 6 means positive charge also will be equal to minus 6 so you will write total positive charge also is equal to plus 6 so after writing this see how many chromium atoms are present so one this is one and this is two so two chromium atoms are present so two chromium is equal to plus 6 so you know that on the central metal atom positive charge will be present so that is why so one chromium will be having 6 divided by 2 you will be getting 3 so oxidation state of chromium is plus 3 so this is the first step so now let us name this compound so how do we name it first write mu so the symbol is called as mu then put dash name of the bridging ligand so here oh is the bridging ligand so oh is called as hydroxido so you will write hi hydroxy do hydroxido then you will write bis you will write bis and then name of a so you will write name of a this is a here so what is the name of a here so name of a will be this is the ligand this is the central atom so write the name of the ligand first so i'll indicate here this is central atom and ammonia is the ligand so write the name of the ligand first so ligand is amine amine group so ammonia group so phi phi means penta so it is 
पेंटा अमाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स बी केयरफुल हियर अमाइन यू शुड राइट एम एम नॉट वन एम सो डबल एम एंड दिस इज क्रोमियम सो यू राइट क्रोमियम and then in bracket you should write oxidation state so what is the oxidation state you have found plus 3 so write as roman letter like this 3 and then you have chloride so write chloride so this is the name of the coordination compound containing bridging ligand so let us take one more now let us take second example so this is the second example so identify the bridging ligand in this so here oh is the bridging ligand and here nh2 is also the bridging ligand so here you can see same type of groups are present on both the sides cr is chromium so chromium and then h2o four times here also chromium h2o four times so now same type of groups it is this is also a a same type of group so now you will be using again the same trick to name the compound so what is the first step here the first step will be to find the number of negative charges in the compound so let us find the number of negative charges here oh is hydroxide group so it will be having minus 1 charge nh2 also will be having minus 1 charge and sulfate will be having minus 2 charge so let us calculate total negative charge so total negative charge is equal to so here minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and here 2 2 is a 4 minus 4 minus 4 so this is equal to minus 6 you will be getting so if uh, negative charge is minus 6 then total positive charge also will be equal to plus 6 so positive charge will be equal to plus 6 so now how many chromium atoms are present two chromium so two chromium is equal to plus 6 therefore one chromium will be having plus 3 as the oxidation state so once you find the oxidation state let us write the name of this compound so now how to write the name see the trick here first write mu so mu dash name of the bridging ligand so here we have two bridging ligand so which one to write first so this one is hydroxido and this one is amido so which one to write first hydroxido starts with h amido starts with a so write the uh, write according to alphabetical order so first will be amido so you will write here amido then again dash mu because one more bridging ligand then this is hydroxido so you will write hydroxido hydroxido and then what you will write is after bridging ligand you will write bis so you will write bis and then name of a so this is a so name of a will be here write the name of ligand first tetra aqua so tetra aqua so water is aqua and then this is chromium cr is chromium so chromium chromium and in bracket write oxidation state oxidation state is 3 so you will write 3 like this don't write plus or minus here and then you have sulfate so sulfate so this will be the name of this compound understood so next we'll see the second trick so what is the second trick second trick here is suppose a bridging ligand is connected to two different groups so here a and here it is b so if it is connected to two different groups how to name it so when it is connected to two different groups you will name like this first you will write name of a so this is a so write this first name of a will be written first 
then mu dash name of bridging ligand so name of bridging ligand will be second written second then name of b so this will be name third so we'll use this trick we'll take one example to solve this so here example cr nh3 five times oh cr h2o five times cl5 so this is the compound of so let us use the trick so now this is the bridging ligand and this is a group a and this is group b so two different groups are there see here this is chromium and this is ammonia group and here chromium and this is water group is present so two different groups are present so first we have to find the total number of negative charges so here hydroxide or group will be having minus one charge and ammonia will be having charge zero because it is neutral ligand water is also neutral ligand so charge will be zero and chloride ion will be having minus one charge so now total negative charge will be equal to minus one phi into minus one is minus phi so this is equal to minus six so total positive charge will be equal to total positive charge will be equal to plus six and two chromium atoms are present therefore two cr is equal to plus six plus six so chromium is equal to plus three so this is the oxidation state of chromium so now let us name the compound by using the trick so first write name of a so here this is a so first write the name of ligand first here ammonia is the ligand and chromium is the central metal atom so penta amine so here let us write the name penta amine so students underline here 2m should be there penta amine and this is chromium chromium what is the oxidation state 3 so 3 and then after naming a dash mu dash dash name of bridging ligand so here bridging ligand is oh oh is a hydroxide o hydroxide o after that name of b so here see the trick 1 2 3 so next is name of b so here this is b it is penta penta aqua continue this i'll write down penta aqua then chromium see here penta aqua chromium oxidation status again 3 for chromium it is 3 and then you have chloride so this is the name of the given compound so students i hope you understood this if you have any doubts you write in the comment box i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye